Hi, this is Mike with Mike and Rick Outdoors. We're at the Marimonte Reservoir just south of Norwood, Colorado. About September 24th, catching trout, brown trout, and rainbow trout. But I wanted to mention a product by Paramount Outdoors. They're a great company. Me and Rick have purchased a lot of products from them. I particularly want to mention their boots, their wading boots. They have, they, for men, they sell three different styles of boot. We've got all three. And I'll start off with this boot here. This was the first one that I bought, and it's the cheapest of the three. But when I put this boot on, it was extremely comfortable. It was, uh, I was very impressed, like walking on a cloud. And it's got the reinforced toe on it, and of course the cleats on the bottom for traction. It's just a strong, real strong reinforced uh, heel tab there to pull it on your, uh, put it on your foot over your waders, which also I have their waders. They uh, sell uh, very high quality waders. I have two different pairs. But these boots are um, really something as far as comfort. I was really impressed with them. And this cheaper boot especially, yeah, and the information on this boot, the description below and the information up above there, as far as more details and uh, information on the product here from Paramount on this particular boot. Then the next boot up, a little bit more expensive, but it's got the reinforced toe on it. And it's got the uh, clip, the gravel guard clip that your waders clip to. And this is really nice. It keeps, uh, if you're wading in a lot of loose gravel, gravel will get down in your boots and you got to stop and get all that. So this uh, clips onto your waders and all, all three pairs have that same feature. The reinforced toe. And this has a little bit more padding. Of course, a little bit more expensive boot as compared to the cheaper boot. But it's extremely comfortable and, it, you know, you get what you pay for, I guess the saying goes. But this is a nice boot. The cheaper one's really nice, but it's a little bit nicer, a little bit more expensive. And this also has uh, more information uh, you can check above there in the description below on this particular boot here, on this product. Then their top of the line boot from Paramount Outdoors is this boot here that has a whole lot more padding. And I haven't particularly worn this boot yet, but if I'm extremely pleased with the lower line model, this boot here, I can't imagine how much more better and comfortable this is. And it's well made, of course you get what you pay for. It's just a superior product, uh, well made, well put together with a lot of padding. And this particular boot here, like I said, I, I have not uh, worn this particular boot, but Rick has. And he uh, says the same thing, it's just amazing. The comfort, when you're walking around on these streams and these rocks, uneven surfaces, your feet get all kind of twisted and contorted. This is so comfortable. At the end of the day, your feet are you're, they're not tired, they're not sore. So you've got the cleated bottom to keep from slipping on the uh, rocks and extremely thick padding. It's just, uh, just a high quality boot, really good stitching. We had no problems or complaints whatsoever about Paramount Outdoors and their boots. So I wanted to mention that about this product that they provide there. We field tested these and extremely happy with them and highly recommend them. And all three boots, of course, have the uh, drain holes because you wear them with waders. And, but this particular boot here, of course, we have a description below here and information above there where you can go and look at more details, stuff from Paramount Outdoors. But I want to give a shout out to them on this quality product. It's just uh, amazing, durable, no complaints, no problems with them. And I'm still using, uh, I'm using this, this middle pair here. And just because I, you know, can't wear them both at the same time, but both of them are, are just as happy with both of them. The cheaper, the middle of the road, and the more expensive boot. So anyway, uh, all three have a description below, more detail on them, information above. So I hope you appreciate this video on, these, on this product. And like I said, I, I cannot recommend it enough, the quality and the comfort of this shoe, this boot, with their waders. Today we're fishing uh, the Marimonte Reservoir fishing a rubber raft but on the shoreline and uh, so you need to get out in the water you know maybe less than knee deep and so i have the um, the guide waist waders that work well with these boots especially putting a boat in and out of the water you got to get you know wet up to your knee maybe a little deeper and if you're landing fish on the shoreline you need to get out there in the water to mantle them and net them and turn them loose and uh, that way keep them wet and uh, not get them up on dry land you don't want to release them and get them dry so you need to get out in the water and so these work really really well like in a reservoir or lake uh, setting and then also earlier in the week we were in the Rio Grande Reservoir fishing with the same thing as Marimonte but we got in the Rio Grande River 
and these really helped out walking around. The, the rivers are low this time of year, a lot of moss and really slippery. So that's where these uh, studs really come into play in gripping those rocks. And especially wading across in fast current and uh, keeping your balance. So these really help out with that. I and, have got my new Paramount waders and my Paramount wading boots. Uh, yesterday I just wore regular old wading shoes and I slipped around on the rocks pretty good. And so what I never saw whenever I was shopping for boots was actual field review footage to see exactly what it looks like to step on a mossy rock to see how good the traction is. Like this rock here is covered in moss and I'm not sliding at all. And I'm not sliding at all on that rock. And on the bottom of these boots, there's cleats that you can see help you give you traction. And actually, what's actually taking place is the cleats are going through the moss and grabbing the rock. Where without the cleats, then you just hold your boots just sliding on the moss. So you're actually digging through the moss and actually getting traction on the rock. So that, that's a really good plus for me. Like on this rock here, I mean, I'm not sliding. I'm putting all of my weight back down on that rock as much as I can, trying to slide on this rock, and I'm not sliding anywhere. And so that uh, makes a huge difference walking out on these moss-covered rocks that are as, like slick as glass. So I'm, I'm pleased with them, very happy. For example, this rock here, I'm walking across here. I would be scared to step on this rock right here with just normal shoes on, tennis shoes. I'm not worried about it at all. I have confidence now that I've been wearing these boots all morning long, walking around the creeks, and I have confidence to step on that rock. Without them, I'd be scared to death to step on that rock. But I'd walk on that rock and not even know no problem at all stepping on these rocks, any of these rocks out here. This one right here covered in moss. No sliding at all. No sliding on this one. I can walk around these rocks. Before, you just stayed to the dry rocks, of course. And now I can walk on these rocks and uh, with confidence and not falling down and getting wet and ruining all my equipment. And, and I just want to mention Paramount Outdoors is a fantastic company. We've got a lot of products from them and, and no complaints. And uh, we've tried them, field tested and tried them and they are superior and very, very happy with them. I highly recommend their products, the waders and their boots and, and uh, fishing shirts, EAG, uh, engineered angling gear. Uh, I've got several shirts. They work, really work well. So we appreciate if you'd continue to watch our videos. We'll try to provide information for you and help you out in getting the right gear to be comfortable when you're out here fishing and in the outdoors. Appreciate if you would subscribe to our channel.